Hello, Church, and welcome to Pastor Mary Beth's mini message, the Treble United Methodist Church's temporary answer to worship. Again, welcome on this 17th of May, 2020. In our immediate faith family, Noah and Isaac and Kendra are all graduating from college. Reed, Nolan, and Jordan are graduating from high school, and these are going to be the celebrations that weren't. These young adults can never turn back the clock and have the parties and the pretty dresses and the slaps on the back and the family gatherings that they so deserve. Our littlest ones among us will miss peewee ball and rides at catfish days and probably swimming lessons. Middle schoolers will be denied summer camp and mission trips and face-to-face -face summer school and sleepovers. Those we know in their 20s and 30s who are starting to search for partners and starting families and starting to earn money and starting to really understand what they want out of life are missing so many opportunities. Maybe the jobs they hope for are gone. Moving to a new apartment or a house is complicated right now and they are denied easy access to the friends that they just so want to spend time with. Our friends and families in their 40s and 50s are so worried about their kids that they're sending them hand sanitizer, sometimes cooked up in the kitchen out of aloe vera gel and rubbing alcohol. They may have lost their jobs, and they probably lost the opportunity to go on that Alaska cruise, cruise that they've been so hoping for in the fall. They are missing parts of the best years of their lives. Now, once in their 60s and 70s, folks will miss precious time with grandkids and great-grands. This generation is missing the much-loved card playing and exercise classes and book clubs and dinners out and maybe even the needed last years of retirement savings. Bob and I missed the opportunity to sit with his mother as she died three weeks ago. Our elders who have been through, through so much that we don't even know about it unless we ask them and then we sit at their knee and we really listen, listen they're missing the opportunity to tell us. They are missing precious time to spend doing whatever the heck they feel like, hopefully while surrounded by people who love and enjoy them. <coughs> Excuse me. But you know what? By the end of the month, our six students will have graduated, thanks to the innovation and quick thinking of school administrators. Our littles have amazing parents and teachers who will make sure that the coming months hold fun and joyful times. The teenagers are becoming even more tech savvy and creative than ever and are finding ways to thrive in spite of the evil virus among us. Our millennials are some of the most loving parents, intelligent business managers, and survival-minded people I've ever met. And new grandmas and grandpas are not going to let a little thing like a pandemic stand in the way of seeing the kids, and they might even be the first to suggest a family Zoom meeting, something that they may not have even heard of six months ago. Those just past retirement and beyond, to quote a popular insurance slogan, know a thing or two because they've seen a thing or two. These are the people who remind us that if there is anything that can get in the way of life, it's life. And you know what? At the end of the day, Bob's mother made it into heaven without our help. When the disciples were with Jesus in the boat and a terrible storm came up, the Bible says that the disciples were terrified. They had control over nothing, except they did. They had control over themselves. They didn't start pushing each other over, over, each other over the edge to lighten the load or jump into the sea rather than get bashed against one another. They woke Jesus, they told him the problem, and then they helped it resolve by paying attention. On the opposite side of the coin, when Jesus was arrested, the disciples had no control over anything except themselves. They fled and they hid and they denied that they even knew Jesus. They handled the situation badly. We have control over nothing right now, and yet we have control over everything. As the newscasters repeat about seven million times a day, we are living through unprecedented times. We are challenged every single day to exercise self-control with patience, with acceptance, 
with right behavior, and with exceptional thought towards our neighbors and our parents, our children, our church, and our world. The biblical parallel about making lemonade out of lemons is the story of Jesus at the wedding at Cana. It is a big bash, and they have run out of refreshments. And Jesus' mom calls Jesus over and brings this to the attention of him, who then turns the water, the jugs of water, into wine. This is the beginning of so many miracles to come. A problem, a challenge, a solution, and a new way of looking at things from then on. May today and tomorrow and the next day and the one after that be a time for you to find new ways to adapt. You have much more control than you think you do. Focusing on what is missing will only help us miss even more. And now in the spirit of Sunday worship, will you say the Lord's Prayer with me? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. May you be at peace, knowing that God is at work in your life. May you be Jesus to those who need you, helping him accomplish his mission. May you welcome the Holy Spirit who meets you in the stillness of your heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful week. God bless.